Hi Sagittarius, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Sagittarius, this is going to be one of their true intentions in love. And this is going to be uh, for some time, uh, any time actually, okay? Because I'm shooting the video uh, close to February, but uh, you know, this, these videos are timeless. So let's get into the reading to find out what's happening for Sagittarius. Uh, and their person. This is a love reading, and the whole reading could be vice versa, you guys. It can be. It doesn't have to be, you know, your energy here or their energy there. So let's get into the reading without further ado. And, uh, excuse me, today is uh, the beginning of the Mars conjunct with Uranus, right? And this is going to be about changes. This whole year is... Uh, year number five, 2021, as of two five. Fives are about changes. It can be conflict. can even be crises, but definitely changes. Uh, we know that fives in the tarot are also about changes. And right now, you know, Aquarius is also, the sun is in Aquarius today or tomorrow. And the whole point about Aquarius, I believe it's today, but uh, the whole point about that is this is about freedom. Aquarians are freedom-loving people kind of like Sagittarians, but they're air signs and they are, you know, they love freedom, they love community, and a lot of people are, are going to, you know, be feeling kind of stuck, right, especially with what we have been dealing with, what they have, uh, you know, purposely laid out for us. Uh, yeah, it was not, it's not by chance, guys, and uh, so let's see, a lot of people are going to be, uh, you know, looking for ways this year to find their freedom and when we talk about freedom too we also talk about freedom of expression and that has been squashed too trust me big time so people will want to be free with their actions and free with their thoughts and what they consider to be their truths right yeah they don't want anybody to know the truth so let's get into the reading for Sagittarius and their person and we have divine light okay somebody is like really ascending here. They're receiving the light, kind of like the power and light, right? They're receiving the light here. Once you receive the light, this is when all doors will open up and you'll see a future for yourself. <clears throat> it could be wisdom and knowledge, right? <clears throat> not knowledge in the terms of, you know, I'm going to go look at my anatomy book. No, not that type of knowledge, but Knowledge in terms of wisdom and maybe how to further drive your life, what's good for you, things like that. So let's continue and uh, let's get another card for Sagittarius and that person. So one of you guys is receiving the divine light from the divine, right? Let's get another card for Sagittarius and that person. And now we have the grace card. Okay, and grace. Grace for me is like appreciation. Uh, yeah, it's appreciation... And kind of uh, appreciating things, but with kind of uh, like also, you know, kind of walking with God, grace, right? This is kind of how I see this. Uh, because we always know, if we've ever gone to church, they talk about grace, right? Grace and grace for God, right? But this is, <clears throat> somebody is has really awakened here, uh, long story short here, right? And a grace, uh, they are kind of uh, receiving their grace, but not just that, receiving the divine light. And with the light, they are kind of kind of walking in grace. Yes, yeah, this lady is at the tree of life. That's what she's doing here. Kind of just notice that right now. The tree of life is when you do receive everything you need, right? And the tree of life connects the earth with uh, it, it connects the planets or the divine with the earth, right? This, somebody's really awakening here, okay, guys? And I uh, could have explained grace a little bit better, huh? I realize that. <laughs> let's get into the reading, though, okay? Yeah, let's get into the reading for Sagittarius and their person. And let's see what we have. And let's use this deck, the Arcanum deck, yeah? And, which is really the major arcana, right? Yeah, it is. So let's see what we have. It's kind of like, I believe, uh, it, maybe it's the plural, Arcanum right for arcana yeah so let's see what we have for it's never arcana you guys sorry to say some people say major arcana no it's not it's a latin word so they're not going to say arcana no they're not okay guys no okay i'm brazilian i would know <laughs> let's see what we got for uh sagittarius and their person now that we're done with the uh the language lesson let's see what we got here for sagittarius and their person yeah it would have been uh 
a language teacher and another life. Yeah, it would have been. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. Put your energy down first here, Sagittarius. We're going to get some more Oracle cards too. Let's see. Somebody's uh, really gone through an awakening. And they are appreciating here. Yeah. You know, uh, I did another reading for you. And either you or your person has gone through a major awakening. Uh, either you or your person. So right now you have the High Priestess. And let's see. The Nine of Pentacles. This is you, Sagittarius. You could be maybe... Uh, this is the card of being single. But, you know, we know it is also the card of independence and abundance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you desire or you're hoping for is a Queen of Swords, okay? And the Knight of Wands is what you're fearing over here or doubting. It doesn't always have to be a fear, right? But, you know, your challenge is the Nine of Cups. It's something you really want here, Sagittarius, right? And it's not, you know, uh, nine uh, ice cream sundaes. No, it's not. I don't even like ice cream sundaes. You guys like ice cream sundaes? <laughs> Uh, so, sorry guys, so let's see, I like a banana split, but Sundays it just have too much chocolate on them, right? Yeah, so let's see what we got, you guys. <coughs> and uh, you guys could be saying, I love that. Don't be mean. <laughs> let's see what we have for your person. Show me uh, Sagittarius' person's energy. The death card, OMG, this is their recent energy. Mm -hmm. The six of pentacles, they're in that energy currently. They have the nine of wands. Your person here is some type of a wounded person, or uh, I feel like there's a better word than wounded, but, you know, this is, this is what the tarot queens, you know, have to say typically, right? The wounded warrior. But it's somebody who's kind of like worried about, you know, what's going to happen next. It's in their challenge, so we know that they're in that energy, right? Yeah. So your person's worried about what's going to happen next. You know, they could be going, God, this could work out. It might not work out. You know, I, I might, you know, when I go to try to do this, I might slip down the, you know, slip down the stairs in the evil castle, stuff like that. And what they want is the four of wands, and what they are kind of fearing or doubting is the five of swords. I feel like your person is doubting, like, they're doubting, they're fearing sabotage, or they're doubting <clears throat> maybe defeat. Yeah, I feel like they are, all right? Yeah, defeat, guys, D-E-F-E-A-T, not, not the feet, like the feet. <laughs> People talk like that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, this is okay. That's another that's language one on one again. Let's let's get back to the reading. Uh, I can make fun of American culture, can I? I, I feel like I can. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Let's look at your energy first, Sagittarius, and let's see why you're in the high priestess. You could have ended it maybe with a water sign or your person did, maybe. There looks like there's an ending here with the death card immediately under the high priestess card. Mm-hmm. Could have ended it like a situation, ended it. That sounds like ended it. Sounds kind of weird. But the high priestess is here. This is about love, right, with the nine of cups most likely here. It is. And the, the uh, temperance card. This is you. So, Sagittarius, you could be using your intuition here. You could, but there could also be a high priestess here, right? We know the high priestess is Scorpio or Pisces, yeah. Do they know they're the high priestess? That's the question. Uh, I feel like my daughter is a high priestess. She's Pisces, and, you know, if I ask her anything about, you know, if she's trusting something, you know, kind of intuitively, I feel like she's not for the most part, which is really annoying, like, you know, you need to awaken, you're the high priestess, all right? Don't give me any of that anymore. Yeah, I won't tolerate it. <laughs> uh, my daughter's 23 next uh, next month. I don't think she, or 24, god damn. Anyway, guys, I don't think she's worried about what her mother, you know, I don't think so. She probably thinks I'm some old-fashioned. So let's get back to the reading, old-fashioned person. And uh, let's see what we have. <laughs> get a card on temperance for Sagittarius and now we have the six of wands uh there could be you could be overcoming something this is you know maybe you want to win something this is in the recent past it could be currently but it has to do with victory recognition or overcoming a situation and let's get another card five of cups okay so in the past the recent past somebody was grieving here maybe a high priestess maybe you maybe the per maybe your person 
you're, it could be showing up in your energy. Somebody was grieving here. I feel like it has to do with the high priestess. It could have to do with maybe, you know, some type of all-knowing, intuitive, because somebody has the divine light here, right? Let's look at your current energy, the Nine of Pentacles, Sagittarius. So back in the day, you would have had a mink coat on. God, I don't even think they're nice, right? And, uh, I mean, people used to wear them, right? They don't wear them now because you have to kill the animal for the mink coat, right? Um, right? When you can just, you can get another coat. Right? <laughs> but this Nine of Pentacles is showing up, and this is, you know, the card of independence. Okay, you're worried, though. You're worried. You could be worried about somebody else being single, this person. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, that's not you. You're not the Queen of Pentacles, typically. I feel like you're worried about some earth sign being single here. I really think so. Mm -hmm. I feel like in the past you grieved them because you were grieving them for some reason. Let's look at the Nine of Cups. I feel like we're going to find out here. Uh, this, this reading is, is a trip because I'm not going to call it out. I haven't clarified their cards. And your person's going through something here. The Death card, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Yeah, it's... it's doesn't look really pretty for them, no. The Nine of Cups is there. The number nine is your challenge, rather, and the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So in order for you to have what you want, somebody has to walk away. And maybe it's you. Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody needs to be single here, maybe. So I feel like somebody could be married. Maybe it's your person. They have the death card in the recent past. Maybe they ended something. that Maybe they were married to somebody. Maybe they were, or in a, in a union, all right? Yeah, don't get mad if you guys say, you know, uh, don't talk about people who are married and this and that. And... Because these are general, and uh, it's not my job to judge anybody who leaves a marriage to be with anybody, right? Whether or not that's Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, whoever, right? So let's, get, let's look over here at the Queen of Swords. Uh, and this is what you desire or hope for, all right? So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Six of Cups. You want somebody from your past, okay. This is probably your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, maybe your ex-coworker, somebody who's like an ex-something, maybe just an ex-friend. You know what I mean? Maybe you're not hanging out with them now. Maybe they got married to somebody or something like that. But this is somebody you know, somebody familiar from your past, Okay. Maybe you want them or you want to figure something out here. But there's something here. You can't have what you want here, this person, until you or somebody or they walk away from a situation. They look like they did walk away. Maybe they're thinking about it here. Let's look at the Six of Cups. This is what you want or you're hoping for. King of Wands, that's you, Sagittarius, and the Two of Swords. I feel like you want somebody to come out of stalemate, right? You want them to make up their mind. And uh, you're worried here about it. Yeah, you're worried about a Queen of Pentacles here. And uh, the subject is the Nine of Pentacles. You're worried whether or not... Uh, you could be worried about your own financial independence, but you look like you're worried about this person with the Eight of Cups. Are they becoming single? I feel like that's the case in this situation. Maybe you are... Maybe it's not exactly that, but there's something that you are worried about that has to do with either your financial independence or or maybe somebody's becoming single. It's really either or. So the Nine of Wands is going to be your doubt or your fear. And I feel like you are doubting somebody's going to take action to end a situation. Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords. I mean, this is an ending, right? It's like you know, this is the Ten of Swords, it's an ending, the Five of Cups is here, this is like a sad ending, and the Death card we know is an ending, yes, it, it is a transformation on some level in every death, right, leave this world, uh, we become reincarnated, whatever you believe happens to you, right, yeah, okay, so let's see, the Death card is showing up, and this is their energy in the recent past with the Three of Swords, they look like they were heartbroken and that uh, they went through an ending here. And we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. I feel like it's in order to have a new beginning with you. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, uh, this reading is, you know, yeah, it is. It's kind of a... Uh, it is going, it is, you know... This could be a continuation, but whatever... Uh, if indeed it is, this person now, somebody has gone through a major awakening here, right? We have to do that, right? Somebody went through a major awakening like 
This could be my soulmate for life. This could be the person I'm supposed to be with. This is the person I'm fated to be with. This is the person that uh, the universe wants me to be with. God wants, God, you know, wants me to be with. Things like that, all right? So their current energy is the Six of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Fool card. They look like they're taking a chance, right, to have, like, balance, right? And uh, to have balance with you, a give and take. Here's the Empress showing up. I feel like here's a third-party Empress, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, don't be a harlot, okay? Don't be a Jezebel, all right? You guys remember that song by Sade? Sade, it was Jezebel. Jezebel. <laughs> I don't think Jezebel was like a harlot in that song, though. That's what I don't really remember, right? Yeah. Jezebel, I think it was the word they used in the Bible for, I think, for people, for women who slept around. But it could have just been somebody's real name. And maybe from that, they, you know, they called people... They use that word as a hoe. Yeah, they could have. All right, they don't be doing that. All right, okay, let's see. The Nine of Wands is in the, yeah. I mean, sometimes these names come from that they use throughout history is the act, exact opposite. Yeah, and they do that also to screw with people, kind of. And they do that because sometimes they do that, they use the exact opposite. In other words, if somebody is meant to be really great, They'll say that they weren't. They're doing that right now, right? In the on the world stage, yeah, they are, and they have so many people fooled about about the whole situation. Yeah, they do. Uh, but you know, uh, they that's what they've done in throughout history. So you could have been really great, somebody who did something really great in history, maybe even back, you know, in the times of the Bible, way back, and then they turn around and say that you were a criminal or something like that. Uh, and so now, you know, whatever your name was goes down through history as a criminal. And they do that. Yeah, they do it vice versa. So that's just the way it is. If you've ever read enough books or you know about history, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Yeah, they don't want you to read history books right now. And, and in fact, they are taking things out of the history book. They don't want you to know about uh, any knowledge or wisdom or what anybody has done, you know, that's uh, that's good. No, they don't. They just want, you know... They want you to think that the people who are good are evil and vice versa. And even with the pilgrims, uh, no digs on the pilgrims, the people who came here. But we know that some of the pilgrims actually killed uh, the natives. Yeah, we know that. But they don't put that in the books, right? This is the beginning. I mean, that's like when you're in school, then you know that, uh, you know, where they're drawing turkeys in the second grade. And yeah, they uh, there was a lot of pilgrims who actually killed the natives, but they never put that in there. It's, the history books are such, you know, bullshit in, in short. Okay, let's get back to the reading. Uh, because some people believe whatever they... Like, I have a friend, and she believes, you know, uh, you know, she has a master's degree, and uh, I told her people who don't ask questions are easily manipulated. I'm sure she didn't like that. <laughs> so let's look here. She's a nice person, though, right? Yeah, I'm sure she... And that's true. Okay. So let's look at your person's challenger. I know how we get into that. But let's look at your person's challenge and let's uh, we'll stay here, right? Yeah. And this is they are the wounded warrior. The ace of cups is what they want. When and whenever we see something really good in the challenge, that means like it's really hard to get, right? Yeah, this is hard for your person to get. And it's really beautiful here. They look like they are in, you know, Fiji where the water is super clean. I hope it still is, because you know, getting polluted around the world. Yeah. And, uh, but the water is pristine here, and, you know, this is really love, right? All these little, uh, kind of, the shower of water coming out of the cup is really love. It's a new opportunity, right? And your person here really wants this. That's why it's in the challenge. They are the nine, they're in this, but they're, like, they're kind of worried about what's going to happen. Maybe if they grab for this cup here. The lover's card is, uh, in their challenge. I feel like you're the lover, and I feel like it could be a choice for clarity, maybe. I feel like your person wants victory here, and that's it. They want victory with you, uh, and this is a hard for them. This is, has been the challenge. I feel like they already ended it with their person. Look at this. Or maybe they have ended it with you, but this doesn't look like that. This doesn't look like it's a breakup reading. It looks like your person wants to get back together with you. That's how this reading is looking here, okay? So, uh, yeah, you know... So I feel like if you ended it with this person in the past, Six of Cups is here, that was a while ago, right? Remember we were talking about history, maybe the Six of Cups, not really sure. <laughs> this is their energy in the recent past. They could have broke somebody's heart in order to have this Ace of Pentacles with you. It's reversed because it's pending, 
right? Mm -hmm. So let's look at what they want, the Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles. This is what they want, and let's see here. They want to hold on and reunite with you. Three of Cups, what they're doubting or fearing. Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. They think you're going to you're gonna leave them feeling defeated. Maybe they're fearing their past actions. Maybe they played mind games, right? Maybe they were some type of a fucker. Who knows, right? A woman or man, a man or woman. Yeah, you could be, that's a, uh, that's a non-gender specific word. <laughs> Even though I'm not, I don't, I'm not politically correct. No, hell no. It's a divisive tactic. Yeah, to divide us. Yeah. So your person's worried about some type of defeat here, or maybe maybe some actions they did in the past. Yeah, mm -hmm. they could worry worry about, uh, you know, maybe being in despair. But I feel like it's more like defeat because here they are in the nine of wands energy, right? Yeah, OMG. We're gonna find out all about your person, Sagittarius. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to see how they really feel about you, how they're seeing the situation here. Yeah, these are going to be kind of big eye-openers. I feel like they are seeing the situation with divine light now. Yeah, they've gone through some type of an awakening, all right? And we're going to see uh, what they're willing to do for this situation, what you don't know about them. Yeah, you don't know everything about them, Sagittarius, all right? No, you don't. Um, and what they are fearing and their true intentions. Thanks so much, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I think I said that, yeah.